Welcome to Yossin Monthly's video, How to Tie a Soft Shackle. A soft shackle is a loop of line, usually Dyneema, spliced with a knot in one end. The spliced loop is opened and the knot inserted into it. The outer casing can then be pulled around to create a loop. Soft shackles can be used to replace almost any metal shackle. Why do you need one? Well, they are kinder to your boat for a start. They don't wear away fittings, they don't corrode, they are lighter, they won't shake free, and there's no pin to lose. And yet they are as strong, if not stronger, than their metal alternatives. To tie one, you will need a chopping board, a sharp knife, a pen, a tape measure, one meter of five millimeter Dyneema, and a fid. You could use a commercial fid, or I'm just using a biro with the insert removed. First of all, measure one meter of 12 strand Dyneema. Cut off the end. Next mark 11 inches or 28 centimeters from one end. This is the amount of line you will need to tie the diamond knot. Next, fold the line in half and mark the middle. This soft shackle will give you an internal diameter of around 60 millimeters. Now, take the fit, insert the unmarked end, so it's nice and secure. Then find the mark in the middle of the line, the second mark, push the Dyneema apart so it can make a hole that the fit will slip into nicely. Insert the fit into the center of the line, feeding up, making sure you don't trap any fibers or catch any of the lay of the line. Insert it all the way up into the first mark. Again, push the line apart so you don't break any fibers. Pull the line through, making sure you don't lose it within the splice. Insert the fit into the loop you've just made. This helps you tighten up the line and tighten up the splice so the loop doesn't become too small. Now milk the outside of the line, keeping it nice and smooth so you have a splice. Remove the fit. Now mark the line where it exits the splice. Take the line that wasn't spliced and insert that into the fit. Push apart the Dyneema to make a hole for the fit to pass nicely through the line. Again, making sure you don't catch any fibers or distort the line. This will secure the splice in place. Make sure it's nice and tight. You're now left with a splice and two ends. Let's tie the diamond knot. Pass one leg over the other, then loop the other leg underneath itself and place it over the first leg. Let's see that again. Take the leg and pass it over the other leg, loop it underneath itself and lay it over the first leg. Now take the first leg, pass it around the outside of the knot, underneath the second leg, into the loop, underneath itself and back out through the loop again. This creates a carrack bend.
Now, put your finger in the centre of the hole and just pull through the two ends. This just tightens up the knot a little bit and also gives you a hole for the next part of the knot. Take one end, pass it around the leg of the splice and then up through the centre of the knot, through the hole you made with your finger. Do the same with the other leg, pass it around the outside and then again, then up through the centre of the knot so it runs parallel with the other line. This has created a loose diamond knot. Now we need to tighten the knot up. You look at the splice and pull it through slightly, you can see which lines in the knot move. So starting from the splice, pull out all the slack you can and then work your way around the knot, removing the slack. Do it one section at a time each time you'll get slightly more slack. And more line through the knot. At this stage, it can look a little bit disorientated. But don't worry. There you go. You can see how much extra slack has been pulled through the knot. Now again, go back to the splice, pull it slightly and see which lines move. Pull it as close to the splice as possible. Then follow it a link at a time, all the way through the knot. That's starting to look better, but to give the knot the greatest strength, it needs to be as tight as possible. So again, work your way around the knot, one line at a time, to take out all the slack you can. If you have a marlin spike, it can be used now to make the knot as tight as you can. Now, you could just leave your shackle like that. If you do trim the ends off, make sure you trim them off at least five millimeters from the knot to stop them pulling through. During our tests on Yachting Monthly magazine, we found the tighter the knot, the stronger the shackle. So, if possible, you need to pull the ends of the knot through as tight as you can. You could use pliers or a vice to do this. Or you could do this simple trick. Tie an overhand knot in one end, and a single overhand knot in the other. Dyneema has a very slippy coating which makes normal knots pull through on it. Attach one end of the loop to a winch and the other to a fixed part on your boat. Now winch through the ends as tight as possible. The knot on the right has been tightened up using a winch. The knot on the left was tightened up by hand. Thank you for watching.